Hey everyone, it's the 12 Days of Misfits. Hey everybody, welcome back. It is day 10, and it's a little bit different today. Brandon's in a uh, different location and in a very Christmassy mood, though, still. That's right. I'm, I'm in a snow globe today, so changing it up a little bit, but I still got my Ministry Misfits new beanie on today, so still looking good while rocking the ugly Christmas sweater. That's right. I find your lack of faith disturbing. So, <laughs> we are separated a little bit because I've been sick, Brandon is sick, kind of, sort of sick, and so, you know, the fun of doing anything creative in the middle of a pandemic is that you never actually get to do what you intended on doing. So, we're separated out, but we're still going to finish off the 12 days here. I am still in the studio, so we will pull out. Uh, we're still going to do the same way. I'm going to pull out the verse. I'm going to read it. And then we're going to let Brandon try and figure out how this all fits together. So, he is currently at six and a half points. We're at least hoping that we're going to be able to find somewhere for extra credit to get him up to at least double digits before we're all said and done here in, what, three days? Four days? I, I Yep, yep just, a, just a couple days left till Christmas. So, why don't you That's reach right. into the B stocking for us and see what we've got for today. All right. So, we are doing Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2. And I believe we're doing verses 1 through 18 here. Yes, we are. So we'll give Brandon a moment to find it. Oh, wow. Look at that speed. I am, I am there. That snow globe is enhancing your powers. Let's see uh, see if it'll, it'll help you out with, with finding the, the right answers as well. So We'll find out. We're reading verses 1 through 18. If then there is any encouragement in Christ, if any consolation of love, if any fellowship with the Spirit, if any affection and mercy, fulfill my joy by thinking the same way, having the same love, sharing the same feelings, focusing on one goal. Do nothing out of rivalry or conceit, but in humility consider others more important than yourselves. Everyone should look out not only for his own interests, but also for the interests of others. Make your attitude that of Christ Jesus, who existing in the form of God, did not consider equality with God as something to be used for his own advantage. Instead, he emptied himself by assuming the form of a slave, taking on the likeness of men, and when he had come as a man in his external form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even to death on a cross. For this reason, God highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that the name of Jesus every knee will bow, of those who are in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So then, my dear friends, just as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now even more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who is working in you, enabling you both to desire and to work out his good purpose. Do everything without grumbling and arguing, so that you may be blameless and pure children of God who are faultless in a crooked and perverted generation, among whom you shine like the stars in the world. Hold firmly to the message of life, then I can boast in the day of Christ I didn't run or labor for nothing. But even if I am poured out as a drink offering on the sacrifice and service of your faith, I am glad and rejoice with all of you. In the same way, you should also be glad and rejoice with me. So... Brandon, how does this fit into the story of Christmas? Yeah, so I'm 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 reading the ESV version, so just slightly different, but still I'm going to start with verses 6 or verse 6 whom who though he was in the form of God did not count equally with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. Um, and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. So kind of like we've talked about previously with some of the other episodes of just, again, Jesus coming down and taking on uh, the point of flesh as us as humans and basically emptying and sacrificing himself to fulfill the purpose that 
God had given him to be the savior of the world um, to the point of death, as it says here in, at the end of eight. So that's what I'm going to say is the first one. Um, maybe I'm going to go into verses nine too. We're going to keep it rolling a little bit here. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven on earth and under the earth. I, I bring up this one because I'm, I'm thinking about um, just, just the kings that were there and ruling before and just how everyone was waiting for the new coming of a king, but not in the form that they were thinking of. So just how Jesus is coming in this form of a human and that every one day in the future, every knee will bow uh, to his name. So that, that is what I'm pulling kind of for two. And then I'm going to go for a third because <laughs> I would have thought you would have stopped if there wasn't something. I just let you there. go, man. Keep going. I'm trying to get to those bonus points. Uh, let's see. I'm going to pick up in verse 15 that you made me blameless and innocent children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding fast to the word of life, so that in the day of Christ I may be proud that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. So picking up what we talked about in Genesis of being the light of the world, of Christ coming into the world to be the light, um, and then from him dying on the cross, that gives us the power to uh, continue on, to be blameless, basically, that he was that blameless lamb that made the ultimate sacrifice here on earth that we're able to be blameless in a way um, even though we have sin he he took that sin from us for us while we were here nicely done and those are my three points there was really only one but we'll we'll let you have the other two anyway now the the one the one verse you did not mention was right before you get into verse eight is where he talks about, ah, there we go, verse 3. He says, Do nothing out of rivalry or conceit, but in humility consider others as more important than yourselves. Everyone should not look out for your own interests, but also for the interests of others. This is why we understand, you know, that what you went into with what Jesus does is why we understand how we as Christians are supposed to live in this crooked and deprived generation and world, is that we are supposed to value others more important than ourselves. Why should we do that? Because Jesus did that. He humbled himself, he came down, he considered others more important than himself, and so he sacrificed himself for them. Which is why, at this time of year, supposedly, Supposedly, we're going to throw our air quotes in. Twice. Everybody is supposedly in a good, giving, cheering, compassionate, charity mood. Because it's the spirit of giving. But what we actually know as believers is that it's not about the spirit of giving in the way that we always think of it. It's about emptying ourselves and giving up of our own desires and putting others' desires first, which we're supposed to do 24-7, 365, not just whenever the Christmas music is playing. which Or just on Sundays. Yes, or just on Sundays, which is probably even a bigger issue than, than even just during the Christmas season. So we'll give you at least two points for that. We'll we'll bump it up. Let's be one and a half. Let's keep it one and a half. Let's just, let's just keep it one even. All right. So we'll we'll we're up to eight points then, if our math is even somewhat correct, which is probably not. But we're we'll go with it. So we're at eight points. We're just going with eight points. Yeah, eight points. So this was day ten. Come back tomorrow. We're getting we're we're getting close to the end here. This was a little bit of an easier one, not to take anything away from Brandon, who went above and beyond today. I know of at least, I know one of the other two that are in there is way more difficult. So we'll see how he does with that. So tune in tomorrow. We will be back then. Mm -hmm.